you guys. Hope you're staying healthy and keeping your spirit up. Today I want to share with you guys a few plants that you're probably already growing in your garden but you don't know that you actually can eat them or eat them or prepare them to eat in certain ways. So the first plant I want to show you guys is the nasturtium. I'm sure you guys a lot of you guys already know Anne is growing this plant. This is a very beautiful, ornamental, but also edible vegetable. A lot of times when people might pluck a leaf or two, and, or mostly it's known for growing to eat the beautiful flowers. You might pluck the flowers and put them in your salads as a decoration, but it's also, you know, um, you know, it also has a lot of nutrients as you can see this beautiful pigment in the flowers, which I believe would have, you know, some anti and inflammatory and anti-cancer properties in there and also you know it's good for the liver this this plant has a bit of that the, that bitter taste so yes the leaves are edible also the flowers you can you can uh, pluck the leaves and kind of you know roll you know you can kind of roll this up like this and then slice them thinly to make these ribbons sort of a texture and add to your salads. It has like a spicy kind of kick to it and a hint of bitterness when you eat these raw. And um, the flowers are very decorative and beautiful to put on any kind of dishes. Uh, you can even roll this up in say like a spring roll or something or use it as like a wrap with some guacamole and a little bit of nuts or something in the middle and you just kind of hold it like this and eat it like so. So yeah there's many ways to eat this but you can only eat so much of it when it comes to eating it raw. And what I found out the other day was I was actually curious, what if you can eat this cooked, then you can eat a lot more of it, right? Because I personally can't eat that much peppery food. So if I can cook this and it'll taste good, like I'll be eating this a lot. Especially thinking that it's such a fast growing vegetable, when your other vegetables are not growing fast enough for you, usually you can turn to this. And a lot of times we grow this for the beauty, for it to cascade over the wall in a hanging basket or on a trellis or, or, or climbing on a tomato cage or, or as a ground cover because it fills up really well. But what you can do is actually cook these. What I would do is just, you know, if you pluck off the stems, you can, oops, <laughs> the stem is quite fibrous and stringy, so you don't want to eat that. You can cut them off depending on your juicer, but you can juice the stems. And what you have left is basically blanching the leaves, and the leaves are so delicate. I'm telling you, when, when these leaves are cooked, they taste like the peppery taste goes away, and there's only a hint of bitterness in the water, which I like, but if you don't like it, you can just blanch it and eat the leaves. And the leaves has a pretty neutral flavor and it just has a really nice, delicate texture to it. Mm. It's really tender. It tastes like a young leaf, like a baby leaf on a bok choy or something. By the way, this one is a variegated variety, as you can see. And what's really cool about this one is that I even tested, um, you know, cooking this, and the color doesn't change, so it just stays really beautiful. Look at that. So, so pretty. Let's now move on to the next plant. We're now standing below this mulberry tree. It is now loaded with mulberry uh, fruits right now, these berries. And um, yeah, this tree, fruits about I think two times even sometimes three times a year it's really amazing and um, usually you know you grow these for the fruits but did you know that these actually you can feed the the leaves to silkworms in China that's what they do and um, when you pick these young leaves like these ones here kind of like when you're picking tea leaves they're edible and um, some places in Asia actually would I don't know if it's like a common thing they eat there, but I do have a couple of people that I think are from Cambodia. Hmm, it has like a nice nutty taste to it. They would actually pick the very tender leaves and they would wrap it up in food, like a spring roll or something to eat. And then when uh, these leaves, the, the older leaves, you can actually pick them to dry to make tea. It tastes so good, the tea. When I boil them, the water tastes like really good green tea. And it also doesn't bother my stomach as much as green tea sometimes would. And um, and they're really good for your eyes. It's got, you know, high mineral content. I've even heard of it helping with epilepsies. 
yeah, so you can either pick the mature leaves and cook it to drink the soup like tea or you can dry the leaves and it changes the, the flavor of your tea when you dry the leaves and then boil it in water. All right, let's come on down here. I'm gonna show you the third plant that you can eat. Right now I don't have a lot growing here, but you can see in the ground, these are some sweet potatoes. So I do have a previous um, episode on how to eat the sweet potato leaves. So before you harvest the, the, the root, the tubers for as food, as a vegetable, you can actually eat the leaves as well. I even pick a few to juice. Um, I'm not sure how much or is it actually safe, like how much you can eat them raw, but I do plug a few leaves here and there to add to my smoothies and juices and you can cook these. So I'll link the video down below to show you guys how you can cook this and it just tastes really delicious. Another thing is it has really good amount of fiber in there that it really helps to move your, your digestion. So if you're constipated and you eat a lot of this, it actually helps to move your stool along. So really cleansing for your body. Right now I'm right below the arch trellis and I got some loofah growing in the back. Also I got the uh, chayote growing and there's this chayote here as you can see. It's so funny, this one actually came out white. Uh, it was given to me by a friend long time ago that was actually green like a regular color ones. The, yeah, um, somehow it kept coming out white even when I gave them away. People were growing them and it actually came out white as well so that's well, that's really cool somehow the gene had changed up in there. Uh, yeah, so this one definitely needs to be planted in the ground. It's sprouting. But anyway, you can actually pick off the young shoots to stir do stir fries or put them in soups. That's how a lot of Asians would eat them. I've seen them at the more uh, higher like Asian population kind of farmer's markets. They would sell all kinds of these um, uh, little you know young shoots or the young stems of... of um, of squashes like pumpkin or or bitter gourds uh, and even these chayotes they would pick these little young ones that are still really tender that snaps off really easily but yeah when they grow and the weather warms up they grow really fast and you can actually prune the 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 vine that way prune it back and the tender parts you can cook or stir fry them and aside from that there's actually another one that you can cook and uh, which is a uh, chili leaves yeah, you heard me. Chili pepper leaves. Uh, I actually grew up eating it because when I was growing up, we had a chili tree. I call it a tree because it was like five feet tall and it stayed alive throughout like like entire, you know, 365 days a year. It would be full of fruits, these peppers. It's kind of like a Christmas tree outside every single day of the year for like five or six years until my dog... <laughs> She, she was, you know, she was a puppy at that time, so she kept piling down the soil and eventually digging up that whole tree. We planted out like three more times that tree lived and eventually I think it was like the third or the fourth time the tree didn't make it. So anyway, so I grew up eating chili leaves. My mom would cook them in a soup form, fully cooked, and it was really tasty. And then as I got older, I found out that, hey, you know, like stuff in the nightshade, you're not really supposed to eat, especially the leaves and all that stuff. Um, so, you know, this is just information I'm sharing with you that I've experienced, but make sure you do your own research before you eat anything, you know, only eat what you're comfortable with and that you're confident with. Um, that's what I do. And, um, and I'm just saying that I think even though there's certain sites of chemicals that might be toxic or poisonous to your body, when you cook them, and this is my theory, okay, because I grew up eating it, and my theory is that when you cook it, maybe it would lessen or it'll go away or something, because we ate it like maybe like a really generous amount. We would pick like a giant like pot of these leaves to cook, and we would do that maybe like once every few weeks or something, because obviously you can't keep picking off the leaves off the chili tree or chili plant. So yeah, that's what we did, and it was really tasty. Maybe, you, you know, it's a something more like survival food, maybe, if, if you're out of other foods to eat. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of foods um, that you usually eat that I didn't know about that's edible. We all would love to know, or anything you want to share with me and our viewers, leave it in the comments uh, just below this video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like so that I'll know to probably, I'll, I'll make 
a more updated video to show you guys the more details about each of the plants that I just talked about and and you know more DIYs and how to actually prepare them or to cook them to eat so yeah be sure to subscribe to this channel for lots more video to come and uh, follow me on Facebook Instagram where I do more instant updates of my life that you don't get to see on this channel please support me in my work over at wendyland.com I have some seeds and plants available for you guys to check out so I'll leave the links of everything I just mentioned just below this video here in the meantime please stay safe healthy eat your greens, eat your vegetables, and I'll keep your spirit up. I'll see you right back here very soon in the next video, guys. Take care.